is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans, welcome to another installment of Flashback Friday, where we go into the Boston Wrestling Sports Studio Shoot Interview Archives and hear stories from some of wrestling's greatest legends. If you enjoy these video shorts, check out the entire full-length interview and directly help keep wrestling superstars working over on patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. There are dozens of interviews available right now with new DVD shoots and Memories and Legends episodes coming your way each and every month. This Sunday night, we're giving away the autobiography of Superfly Jimmy Snooker as a giveaway, and our thanks to you. It is Friday, May the 29th, 2020. It's starting to feel like summer here in downtown Melrose, Massachusetts, as life slowly Starts to reopen here in the greater Boston area. My partner in crime, the Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, returns next week with brand new episodes of Wrestling Insiders and Atlas World News, podcast style. We're doing everything we can to return to a video format in June. Tony's getting excited. We've been having fun with these audio episodes. You guys have been awesome across YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. As always, if you can like the videos... Share them and subscribe to the channel. It goes a hell of a long way in having us being able to keep Tony coming back and other wrestling stars we're working on having with us this summer. Uh, on this week's Flashback Friday, we re revisit a great interview co-hosted by myself and John Cena Sr. with a legend I wish we had a chance to have returned to the studio more than once, the legend himself, Harley Race, where he discusses the Von Erich family and Bruiser Brody tragedies. <laughs> Thoughts on the Von Erich family tragedy? You must have worked with them a lot when you were doing your touring as world champion over the years. Including their father back Rick. when I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. uh, how else can you look at it other than uh, just being a total tragedy? Uh, The one boy that's uh, still alive, if he would have stayed involved in the wrestling business, he probably wouldn't be. Uh, but it's just... Do you think that he could have ever became an NWA world champion? Or do you think that that boat pretty much passed once they did the angle with Kerry after one of the first ones had passed? I don't think that they did it uh, at the right point in time for any of them. And mm -hmm. I thought those kids actually thought that they were being pushed out of the way, and uh, that whole thing could have been handled a whole lot different had there been uh, someone in a senior position down there to try to help them right. along. But they were all, uh, I think the total span was like five years from the top to the bottom, and all every one of them wanted the exact same thing. Well, that right. can't happen. They weren't the Fox. As a traveling world champion, this I thought was a pretty interesting question. Did you have a worry about working in Puerto Rico after what happened to Bruiser Brody in 1988? No. no. I, I still today know the people in Puerto Rico. Uh, Brody was uh, a type person that brought that stuff to him. Mm -hmm. uh, surprised me that he survived over there as long as, long as he did. Really? Uh, when you're a bully and you enjoy bullying, at some point you're going to run up against something that ain't going to want to be bullied. Right. And that particular one had a big knife. Yeah, sure did. Were any of the boys that you know of, you know, kind of timid about wanting to get on there after, you know, one of their own was killed in the locker room? Well, I'm sure uh, right after it happened there was a lot of people that said, we haven't been there, why do we need to go, Right. type of thing. But the guy that was running it 
at that point in time has been a friend of mine for a long, long time, and he still is. Mm -hmm. uh, bad things happened, and that just happened to be one of them. Again, you can enjoy the entire Harley Race Studio Shoot Interview DVD and dozens more streaming on our Patreon right now for just a couple of dollars per month. Help keep wrestling legends working while enjoying hundreds of hours of content, new content coming each month along with some giveaways. Again, we're doing one this Sunday, May the 31st for our Patreons. We're a lucky subscriber. We'll get a free copy of Superfly Jimmy Snooker's autobiography as our thanks to you. Join the fun again for just a couple of dollars per month. Don't forget that Mr. USA Tony Atlas remains available for personal appearances, custom artwork, birthday parties, even personal phone calls. Who needs a 30-second cameo video when you can have a person-to-person -person conversation with Tony? You'll remember for a lifetime. All available and our eBay store links below. Our Father's Day will be here before you know it. We have a ton of great merchandise. Hope you enjoyed this, fans. Please, again, like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more great wrestling content. We'll be back next week with another Flashback Friday. Until we speak again, you and yours, be well. Please stay healthy. They're ready. Ready to take their rightful place amongst the literary greats. Ask. The New Day! That's who. It's the Book of Booty. Shake it, love it, never be it. It's the feel-good story of the rise of the New Day. Loaded with games, trivia, coloring pages, and so much more. The Book of Booty. Shake it, love it, never be it. Available now, online, or wherever books are sold.